seven ways to optimize your azure cost today so that you spend less we are going to talk about these small efforts that you can do to make a big change azure offers a vast variety of resources and you can do the same thing with multiple resources in many different ways so how can you optimize and how can you best utilize azure resources we are going to talk about in this video with these seven ways to optimize your cost today hello everybody my name is nitesh sharma and i'm your host on this channel but before we move on to these seven ways to optimize your azure cost we need to understand these three core concepts understand and forecast your costs cost optimize your workloads and control your cost these three concepts are really important so let's talk about these three things understand and forecast your cost to understand and forecast your cost you need to monitor and analyze your cost so monitor and analyze your azure bill with microsoft cost management set budgets and allocate spending to your team and projects second thing is estimate you need to estimate if, uh, your azure pricing for your next project using total cost of uh, uh, ownership calculator provided by azure third thing is build successfully build your cloud business case with key financial aspects and technical guidance from azure cost optimize your workload to cost optimize your workload you need to follow azure advisors best practice recommendations you need to review your workload architecture for cost optimization using microsoft well architectured review assessment and you need to use majur microsoft azure well architectured framework design documentation and to save with these efforts and licensing such as azure hybrid benefits and uh, uh, with reservations azure spot virtual machines azure dev test uh, pricing uh, so you need to understand these uh, things in order to uh, cost optimize your workloads and then you have the third point which is control your cost how can you control your cost to mitigate cloud spending risk by implementing cost management governance best practices at your company using microsoft cloud adoption framework for azure you can uh, mitigate uh, the cloud spendings implement cloud cost controls and guard rails for your environment with azure policy so you should apply some azure policies in your company to uh, guard rail your uh, uh, cost controls these things are really uh, available from azure you have some calculation calculators guide guidelines architecture frameworks all, everything is available from azure i will paste the links uh, in the description below so that you can use them so now let's continue to the topic uh, seven ways to optimize azure resources or azure cost first thing is shut down your unused resources so i you should identify ideal ideal virtual machines express routes uh, circuits and azure other uh, resources with azure advisor so and then get recommendations on which resources to shut down and see how much you would save the second thing is right size underused resources find underutilized resources with azure advisor and get recommendations on how to reduce your spend by reconfiguring and consolidating them the third is reserve instances for consistent workloads you can get up to 72 percent discount over pay as you go pricing on azure services when you prepay for one year or three year term with reservation pricing so that's the uh, really great example of saving cost when you already know how long you're going to use a certain uh, resources fourth is take advantage of the azure hybrid benefit aws is five times more expensive then azure for windows server server and sql server say wig when you migrate your own premises workloads to azure because when you have these resources in on your own premises that means you already have the licenses so that you can reuse the same license in azure for windows server and sql server then you save a big a big time fifth is configure auto scaling don't just uh, 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 use the highest uh, available uh, vms or uh, azure app services uh, just use the auto scaling uh, mechanism which is the best uh, 
uh, best profit or advantage one of the advantage from a uh, cloud you should use it and solve uh, save by dynamically allocating and deallocating resources to match your prefer performance needs six is set a budget and allocate cost to teams and projects so you should uh, create and manage budgets for azure services you use or subscribe to and monitor your uh, uh, organization's cloud spending uh, with the microsoft's cost management seven is choose the right compute service azure offers many ways to host your code as i said in the beginning you should operate more cost efficiently by selecting the right compute service for your application and uh, don't just uh, select anything you find on internet and then just use it so for something you can do with azure functions you should not just create um, a vm and host your uh, app service in that vm which will be really really expensive <laughs> adventure so uh, this is this was it and uh, if you want to go through all of this you have study material from learn from microsoft or you this youtube channel you can subscribe to so thank you for watching please like share and subscribe see you